Hi there, Steve Kaufman here again. And I want to talk again about chat GPT, artificial intelligence, and its impact on language learning. You know, I enjoy doing these videos. Uh, some people say, you know, you always say the same thing. You're a big bag of wind, whatever. I don't mind. People are entitled to their opinions. Uh, but I do enjoy doing these videos and sharing my ideas with you and I get feedback. One person said, you know, the effect of GPT is going to be to render all the language learning apps uh, irrelevant. Uh, there's also fear on the part of some that it'll, uh, you know, affect the role of the teacher. I don't think it should. Uh, and I'm going to explain why. So if I look at Duolingo, which has uh, apparently incorporated some aspects of chat GPT in their system. I don't fully know how and, and, and all the details, but I, I looked it up on, the, on you know, Google. And what they are incorporating is essentially role playing and error correction. So yeah, it's possible that um, a person could sort of individually set up role playing activities with chat GPT. Uh, and in these role playing activities, chat GPT could also correct whatever it is that they type in to their, you know, dialogue with chat GPT. Uh, independently, uh, a learner could, could write an essay or whatever and have it corrected by chat GPT. So does that make the teacher unnecessary? I don't think so. I think we have to look at, and, and by the way, I saw on some of the websites that I visited the suggestion that, well, uh, you know, chat GPT may lighten the load for teachers or might make it, you know, less necessary to go to, uh, you know, uh, substitute teachers. This idea that there's this uh, hierarchy of established teachers, per permanent teachers and substitute teachers. I don't see a big difference between them because basically the role of the teacher is to motivate the learner. The classroom is largely a social place. It's where people meet. It's where the students meet each other. It's where the teacher meets the students. In an ideal scenario, out of this classroom environment comes an enthusiasm for learning the language. That's what happened to me, not the 10 years that I did French at school where the classroom was just boring but when in first year university at McGill, I had a professor that made French civilization so fascinating for me that I decided to really pursue French. So that's an example of the vital role that a teacher can play. And it's possible with chat GPT because chat GPT can generate uh, content, can correct things, can provide a motivated learner with some opportunity for, you know, studying on his or her own, having his or her material corrected, or maybe before submitting an essay, having it corrected, or in the worst case, having chat GPT write the essay for him or her, which I gather they're looking at ways of, you know, making that more difficult to do without being detected. But so some of these opportunities are there, but the teacher, whether substitute or the main tenured teacher call it, still has this tremendously important social role because language is social. Language is communicating, communicating with people, communicating with history, communicating with sound, communicating with the written word. And it's up to the teacher to make that motivating, interesting. And, and certainly as an independent learner, I would not use chat GPT for correcting my writing. I have no interest in that. Um, my use of the language will be what it is. It'll gradually improve as I talk to people, as I hear how the native speaker uses the language, as I listen to content of interest, I expect that my vocabulary will grow. My familiarity with the language will uh, increase and uh, the frequency of my errors will gradually, you know, diminish. Uh, but I know from experience that being corrected doesn't mean that I get it right the next time. So it's just, you know, yeah, if it, I'll do what I feel like doing in the language and that probably will not include writing an essay for chat GPT cor to correct. I am personally also not interested in having a role playing exercise 
with a chat GPT. However, I can see where a teacher could assign that. Uh, and therefore the chat DPT then is a resource available to the teacher to, you know, assign an activity, uh, say role playing or interacting with chat GPT, or uh, asking a student to write something for chat GPT to correct, which therefore means that the teacher doesn't have to correct it. So there are all these ways in which chat GPT becomes a, a, an assist to the teacher even though it's not of great interest to an independent learner like me, it enables the teacher to, uh, you know, achieve what the curriculum requires the teacher to do in the classroom. But fundamentally, the teacher to me is a, motiv a motivator. And I don't think chat GPT is going to remove or substitute for the need for a teacher to motivate learners, but it can be used by a teacher to lighten their load in terms of correction, in terms of dreaming up role-playing situations. Uh, and for the truly independent learner like myself, probably not all that relevant in those roles, in the roles that Duolingo has decided to, you know, assign to chat GPT. However, where I am more optimistic is, is using chat GPT to help generate, you know, learner content at particularly at the intermediate or beginner intermediate level. Uh, but even then, as I've said before, we need to consume so much content and ultimately we want to have compelling, interesting content, authentic content. And so chat GPT would have a limited role. Uh, I'm much more interested in seeing how we can use whisper or some of this other technology to facilitate the transcription of the massive amount of excellent, compelling audio content that exists and how we can better integrate that into a, you know, a learning platform like Link with our sentence view, maybe better time stamping, these kinds of things to facilitate or to make it more efficient and more compelling for learners and make it easier for learners to access more difficult content using the functionality that we have at Link. So those are the kinds of applications that I see for AI, call it, or maybe uh, improved uh, text-to-speech where we don't notice the difference between the uh, natural voice and text-to-speech. Those are some of the things that I'm more hopeful for. Uh, to me, at least as an independent learner, I think ChatGPT has more limited application. However, I can see where it can uh, lessen the burden of language teachers. So. A little bit of a, you know, a meandering piece there on chat GPT again and, and, and whether it will actually threaten uh, language learning apps, as one of my viewers suggested, like a link, for example, or threaten the role of teachers. So I hope you found, you found that interesting and uh, you can have a look at some of the other discussions on this subject that I've had. Bye for now.